I kind of grew up watching a lot of films, and that was mainly my dad's influence. Because he it used to be all the quality time we'd have together, because he worked uh, pretty much seven days a week. And so on the weekends, after our work, he would take us to a video store, and we would start watching movies. And that's how I first got into, like, like there's a chunk of the 90s that I'm very, very familiar with, <laughs> 90s films, because of that period. And then from there, we actually got our first camcorder through the points that we got at our video store. And so we started playing around with it, did some stop motion stuff, and then I knew that's what I wanted to do since then. We actually, in the first maybe two minutes of the film, the parents of both of the characters are killed off very quickly. And we, we treat it in a way that that is, uh, I don't want to say, I mean, it is pretty comical without it being too light, I think. Like, we, But that's we set the tone immediately so that we can carry that throughout and hopefully not surprise them. You know, it's like, where did that come from? You know, I should just all sort of fit in the, in the tone that we set up at the very beginning. The film, it's a quirky love story between a pyromaniac girl and a kleptomaniac boy. And they meet and they go on an adventure to hopefully overcome their troubled past and then attempt to achieve her dream of going to Alaska. So that's where Alaska fits in. Mindy Michaels is the pyromaniac and Wyatt James is the kleptomaniac. And he steals things that remember that remind him of his father that he lost at a very early age. And then she, through some abuse from her stepfather, developed the, the uh, obsession with fire and burning things. As a way to escape feeling any real emotion, she kind of results to burning things. Yeah, we'd worked together before, and we'd kind of established a style. We knew that this was going to be a very fast-paced film. Um, we're kind of a dangerous... Uh, duo because we added a lot of visual effects in post uh, just because we knew how we wanted it to be and we kind of with his post-production knowledge kind of were able to craft that and add a lot more visual effects than we had initially planned yeah, on. Yeah, but we, <laughs> we, we knew what was possible and that's what made it dangerous because the, the number of shots quickly added up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is it um, for you that that makes editing so interesting as far as part of the film process? Well, for me, I feel like it's the part where the film gets built. Yeah. I mean, production is very much going out to get the ingredients to make this awesome film, or, you know, it's like cooking. I, I feel like I'm kind of the chef, and like, I'm putting it all together, and um, especially what I like about working with him is he always involves me in like what do you think we need how are we going to get out of this scene what are we where are we going to go with this um so i feel like we work together well in that in that respect because he he knows that it needs to somehow work together or i need to put it together in a certain way and uh um so we actually work very well in the pre-production stage to kind of that's i think that's the exciting thing because you know you get what you get um the time that you're allowed in production and then after that it's all experimentation and kind of knowing what he wants and then incorporating that with what I think would work best for the footage and the movie that we have.